What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Prison Simulator video. You guys seem to really like part one of this series, so I figured I'd waste no time in getting part two out to you guys. If you haven't seen the first video, make sure you check the link in the description box down below or the card on the top right hand corner of this video. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the game. So I realized after watching through the first video that I, I really want to be as fair as I can to the prisoners as much as possible. I mean, they're already doing their time, you know, and I want to respect that. And you know what, if there's any way that I can make it easier for them to be dealing with all of this, I want to be able to do that. The thing that's going to be difficult though is whether they're going to let me do that or not. Okay, workshop. Go to the workshop, select some prisoners using the clicker first. They will be ready for an assembly. This man's still paying from last game. Oh my God. Are you done? Could I take you? I'm gonna take everybody who's peeing. He's missing the toilet. Yeah, I'm gonna take everyone who's peeing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Everyone's just, okay. I'll take no shirt. Let's take no shirt. I'm not gonna take everyone who's peeing. Just kidding. Okay, maybe I might. And um, let's take, let's take this guy. It's Ven Johnson. Okay. All right, who do we have? We have Andrew Vikernes. We have Bruce Dunkel. We have Jim Williams, Kenneth Pretzel, and Sven Johnson. I'm really worried that I'm gonna get attached to these guys somehow. I still haven't read their stories, but I still wanna do that. So it was Tab. Everybody follow me, let's go. Let's go. The workshop. Okay, now go to the locker on the right of the entrance. Take out the chosen tools, default E and go to the bench convicts, we'll give them a tool to work with. Okay, make sure everyone works. If someone is loafing around, reprimand him or use direct force. Okay. Cool, let's um... So I can take all of this and give tools to prisoners. We'll do. What's up, man? OS, no, I haven't. Um, you could have the hammer. Bruce Dunkel, I will give you the screwdriver. Jim, you definitely look like a file kind of guy. Kenneth, you could have a wrench. And uh, Sven, as your name is, I think, lathe knife. So make sure you guys are doing all your work. There you go. Cool stuff. What are we making? I don't even, I don't even get what we're making. Or oh, tables, we're making tables. That's cool. What's up, man? Are you drunk? Yo, what happened? Hey, hey, dude. No, no, don't. Okay. Stop. I don't know how to, how to. Oh, no. I have. Wait, what the hell just happened? Wait, how did you? Oh, God. I have to take him out. Now I'm down a person. Oh my goodness. You know what I should have done? I should have taken people from the same gang. That's what I should have done. Hey man, why are you not talking to me? I just want to know why you started that fight, bro. Get, okay. Okay. Thank you, Bruce. I'm going to remember that, Bruce. All right, let's, uh, let's rally. Let's, let's call it a night, boys. I don't want to overwork you guys. It's not fair. Even though Bruce started a fight over here. Do I have to search you? Okay. Let's just... Oh, okay. Let's just secure this. God. Well, he never did anything wrong. I'm gonna just say, okay. I pretend I saw nothing. Yes. Thank you, man. Okay. I think we're, I think we're good, guys. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. I feel like I'm in school all over again. Hey. All right, so last time, after our routine, we lifted weights. This time, I'm gonna try to take advantage of the gun range. Oh. Oh. Hey. New records. We have to, we have to go to the search room. Search room? Call prisoner. Oh. Oh no. What's up, James Gomez? Let me take this. Welcome to the, are these new prisoners? Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna secure this. Bro, I have to. Oh no. 
Okay, there's no guards around here, so I'm gonna just pretend like I saw nothing and gain the respect of James for now, I think. I really don't know what I'm doing. You're welcome, James. I hope we could uh, build a friendship from this. Okay, let me let me give this back to you. Oh, I'm an idiot. This is supposed to go on the shelf. Wait, what? What shelf? Oh. Oh, okay. Check the prisoner's documents and stamp them accordingly. Okay, James Gomez. What's up, James? Toy store robbery. Stealing from little kids, James, huh? Fingerprints, fingerprints. Oh, they look, you know. Yeah, they look, they look great, man. Oh, you look, I mean, you look, you look good, dude. Okay, let's uh, let's take the next person. Hey, what's going on, dude? Uh, Olaf, Svensson. Uh, let me let me put this here. Let me search you real quick. What you got? Nothing. Cool. You're you're straight. Let's see your stuff. Olaf Svensson. What'd you get? Oh, that's not okay, Olaf. What are you doing out here? Fingerprints look okay. Cool. You look you like you're good, man. Oh, next one. God, I keep forgetting to collect the loudspeaker. Hello. I got you on that cold beer, man. Ricky Zweinstein. Zweinstein? Zweinstein. Let me uh fill you up real quick, Ricky. Oh, you look like you got nothing. Cool. Sierra. Uh, fingerprints. Drug smuggling. Can't be doing that, Ricky. Fingerprints look okay. I really hope I'm not going through this too quick. See you later, Ricky. Let's go. My respect went up for both prisoners and guards. Evening briefing. Go to the briefing room and talk to the guard. Briefing room. Hey, what's up, Barry? Yeah, I'm ready for the daily report. Cool, so we got some money. Dang, I lost... You know what? It was all those <laughs> contrabands that I let go. Um, but I did gain back the prisoner's respect, which is great. Let's see if we could fit another day into this video, because I really want to see what more they have in store for us. What's up, Richard? Okay. Okay. I'm ready to learn some tricks from my older car. What are, what tricks? Alexander Davis, during your free time, you can find him in the social room. He'll tell you the rest. Thanks, man. The warden wants to see me. Oh, no. This doesn't sound good. Warden's office. Hey, Warden. Long time no see. It's been a couple days. Good morning. Why are you so tense? You have nothing to worry about. I don't want to fire you. In a way, I want to give you a promotion, if I may say so. I see you're doing so well, so I have a new assignment for you. I don't... I don't know if I... if I trust this. This is what I was afraid of. I don't want this game to be putting me in really difficult positions, and I feel like this is what it's doing. So from now on, you'll have access to my computer, from which you can purchase necessary improvements. Oh! Do I have some money to spend? Okay, I'll reserve a portion of the prison budget for this. Just don't spend it all in one day. I've created a separate profile on my computer for you. You could use it during breaks, even if I'm in the office, use it mostly in the evenings. I like this. We're improving all the things that the prisoners can get. That's awesome. No, this is, this is completely fine. But that's not all. I want you to do something else for me. Oh God. Today, the guards will provide me with requests and complaints from prisoners in every block. Your job it will be to review them. I it's now at the top of the list of the 20 best correct- Hey! Let's go. The higher the respect, the better our prison does in the rankings. The higher the respect, the better the money. Can I go on the computer? Oh, count two. I assume that's me. He said we needed dumbbells, right? Dumbbells. Uh, yeah. And let's just get new dumbbells. Man, I kind of want to blow the money now on stuff. But let me save it first and see old bedding. Oh, oh, we could get new bedding. That's cool. What else do they have? The ranking top 20. Oh, this is where it has all the stories of the prisoners. <laughs> Sven's crime is pretending to be a grandson to elderly people. That's kind of sweet, actually. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get out of here. I gotta commit new, s new prisoners again. Oh man, I love your hair. Good morning, guard. Good morning, prisoner. Okay, cool. Uh, why do you have pieces of wood, man? I'll, I'll just, I'll leave that with you. Ain't nobody else in here. Fingerprints look good for the most part. Genocide, that's no good. Here you go, man. Have a good day. Oh, yeah, next one. I keep forgetting to click the loudspeaker. Tom Martinez. What you in for, man? Mer oh, mer oh, God. Fingerprints look good. 
Tom Martinez. It looks like you're coming in with us today, man. What you got with you, Tom? Protein bar? No, you should you should keep that. Grown man like you, you need everything you need. Shampoo, deodorant. That looks clean. Okay, this looks good too. Here, you take this, man. Welcome to the prison. Why wow, you side-eyed me, man? I let you keep the protein bar. Why did I lose $50? Oh, I bought them all new dumbbells for my free time. I'm gonna go use my new dumbbells. I guess I can't use the dumbbells. Why is everyone looking at me weird? <laughs> looking at me so weird. Hey, Andrew. What are, what are we playing? You and the boys don't think you're gonna lift that barbell 15 times in 60 seconds? Hell yeah, I will. So what's the bet? Uh, I don't have a lot of money, I don't think. Let's do a clean 20 bucks. Oh, is this... Oh, no. Oh, in 60 seconds. Please. Oh, no, I already lost this bet. Oh, God, I'm actually really nervous. Yo, why are you... I'm not even holding on to this bar right. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. We got this. Okay. Oh no. In the prison yard, your main task is to look for suspicious situations and react accordingly. I kind of feel bad I took that uh, prisoner's money. Oh, crap. Everyone's out here. Oh no. When in the yard, be on the lookout for fights, illegal trade, and other inappropriate or suspicious prisoner behavior. I don't know what that, what does that entail? Oh no. Hey, calm down, please. Please. Oh no. I really don't want to have to use force. Please. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Okay. Please calm down. Thank you. Okay. Bro, what are you? Oh, come on. Stop. Stop peeing, man. Yeah, don't do that here. Oh my god. Please. Please, stop it. Please, don't let me do this. Oh no, I didn't, oh my God, what is going on? All right, we're gonna give them some more time. We're gonna give them some more time to be outside, so hopefully they could respect me some more. And I'm forgiven for hitting that guy, because I didn't, I really didn't mean to. Yo, what are you, oh no. Bro, you need to, can you not pee? Bro, stop, stop peeing. What is this dude doing? Stop looking at me. Please stop peeing. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I come on then. They're literally leaving me no choice. Stop. I leave you guys out here for a little bit longer and this is This is what you do. Actually, I probably if they if they want to pee outside, I guess that's fine, right? Realistically. Okay. For my free time, let's try let's try cleaning the gun. Weapon cleaning is one of the side activities you can delve into in the minigame. You have to disassemble the gun, clean it again. Uh... This is so- oh, this is so dope. Spray it down. W wipe, wipe it down. Cause this is exactly what you do to clean a gun. Oh, okay. You can spray down every piece. That's This makes sense. And then I assume this is the barrel. So I probably need to use this. Putting everything back together. Nice. Back to the warden's room. What's up warden? When you check an application, you have to stick to the guidelines of the day. Check the email with guidelines on the computer and messages available under the envelope. Check the authenticity of signatures and stamps. Prisoners often forge and also pay attention to content of the application. Oh my gosh, this goes so in depth. What the heck? I do admin work? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's these folders. Oh, this is the request from Andrew Tom. I would like to request for a change of the guard on duty during my night shift. Our current guard doesn't do anything but sleep on the chair in the cell block. Okay. Um, yeah, man. If, if you think that 
He wanted different guards, that's cool. Charles Walker, please supply the prison kitchen with more vegetables and tofu because the current variety of meals is too poor for a person on a vegan diet. Okay, cool. Oh, I just realized that that first one probably didn't have a prisoner's signature and I just accepted it. I literally just got a middle finger for this one. I would like to complain about my cellmate. He's always hitting me, stealing my things. See, I feel bad for you, bro, but you didn't even sign this well. All applications must have seals and signatures. God damn it. Oh man, I have to reject this one. Okay, cool. There you go. I'm complaining about a oh, toilet in my cell that's been clogged forever. Jeez, I just need signatures from you guys. Ladies, what smells like something died? Oh, it's only me because I haven't washed in two weeks. LMAO. I don't get it. I, I'll approve that though. I'm just trying to get you new, more showers, I guess. I request kindly that new books be made available for convicts, especially the next volume, Rebellious. What is up with these middle fingers? I'm gonna see what happens if I accept this one. Cause some of these are valid requests. Just, I don't know why they're, oh no. I lost more of the prisoners respect. Hey Barry, yeah, this is a tough day, but I am all done. I got $100 now? The guards seem to respect me, but I keep losing the prisoner's respect. If they would just sign the dang, what was it called, request, I guess? Or whatever it was, yeah, like the request to the to the prison for changes, I totally would have approved of that. Or if they stopped starting fights and stuff in the yard, we would have been completely fine. Anyway. I think I'm gonna leave it there for today, guys. Thanks again for tuning in to another video of Prison Simulator. Like always, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think about the video series. And if you guys wanna see anything else, let me know. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Later.